guys, what's up? This is Place the Movie Fan, and it's time for another cooperation movie review. And this yep. time I am with my friend Arkham Writer. So, why don't you introduce yourself? Uh, yes, I am Arkham Knight Writer. I essentially just do reviews of movies. I've occasionally done commentary. I used to do commentaries much more back then, but uh, now I just do movie reviews on Letterboxd and. Sometimes I'll collect like Transformers or action figures or whatever. I might do toy reviews eventually, but uh, that will happen when I have the better like better equipment to do so. So yeah. Anyway, today we will be talking about a horror movie called Another Me. As you're the guest, you should describe what the movie is about. I'll try to help you. Basically, it's about a high school student that is having a lot of nightmares and there is strange shit going on. We don't know mm. if it's real or not and that's what makes yeah. it scary. So yeah, the first character that yeah. I want to talk about is Lilla Delosi played by Sophie Turner. Yep. Now, yeah, we don't know if what she is experiencing is real or not. That's what makes it scary. And you know what? I felt bad for her throughout the movie. I really did. Mm, yeah, I actually, okay, as I think the what really makes the character just kind of work is that she isn't just... It's kind of this, but essentially the, the whole thing started when her father had some sort of, I think it was a disease. Again, forgot exactly what it was, but it basically just affected him in terms of walking stability, which is why he's uh, in the wheelchair. And now she basically, uh, are we getting to spoilers here? Because I would rule up. Um, no, no, this is a spoiler-free review, sorry. Okay, I'm just making sure. Because basically what happens is just she, certain events start popping up about her life and it could be one thing that could happen is that she's either going insane or there is actually a ghost that is her twin or it is, is it Monica, the the uh, person that she's rivals with in school. It's it's the kind of character that just in general, without getting spoilers, the character itself really works and I think it really works thanks to Sophie Turner's acting who is just phenomenal here. Okay, now the next character that I want to talk about it's Monica Beltram, played by Charlotte Vega. Wow, uh, that that woman is is just a cunt to Lila for no reason. Um, actually, okay. Again, the whole point of Monica is that she's just this kind of snarky asshole who believes that, uh, who kind of knows in reality that uh, was a John Reese, John Rice Myers character is giving Faye all of this attention or some kind of level. She believes that all simply because her uh, was a face father is dying again it's a kind of this kind of boy type character and it is most be kind of a red herring ish way of thinking okay maybe it's monica since monica is technically against her wants to destroy her life I, if i had to again this is just i as much as i love this movie to pieces i would say if i had to change one thing is maybe give monica a little more motivation but even then she's not even close to the main focus of the film so yeah i really I really think that she is a huge con. Well, well, yeah, I think that's the point of the character. It's supposed to be this, just this, uh, just this, this unlikable individual who's yeah. kind of a thorn on the side. Right. The next, the third, and final character of the movie that I want to talk about is Don Delosi, played by Rice Ivans. Now, you did say something about this guy. He's basically Lilith's father, and mm -hmm. I can't tell that he cares about her a lot, and wants to help her out with the problems that she's facing, and that's fucking awesome. He's a great father for sure. Yeah, it, it's a character that, again, really does, I think, again, great performance. I think, I've never seen, and it may just a shocking, I haven't seen much with Ry Ivans in it, although the one that some I have seen is kind of not, he's not his best performances, so I was kind of shocked here that he really did turn out. I think he and Sophie Turner have to carry the most emotional scenes of the movie, so it, it helps that they're both great, but also the fact that the character is just this, character full of regret as the film realizes you realize that he's just full of regret and he loves his daughter dearly however though he however though he knows that he can't always save her in inside yeah well all right the next thing that i want to talk about is the fact that is this movie scary well in my opinion it is fucking scary especially since you don't fucking know if if the strange shit happening in the movie is really happening, or if it's just in your head. That's something yeah. that I appreciate about the movie for sure, and it makes it very scary. Yeah, uh, but yeah, just in general, I think 
the film isn't like you're not it's not a jump scare fest. So there is one single jump scare in the beginning, but then again it's kind of a fake out ish jump scare. But in the rest of the film, as the rest of the film goes, it is technically more based on dread, if anything else. It's basically just more of the dread of the character, more of the just breaking Sandy, which isn't everyone's I know that isn't everyone's appeal, but in my opinion that could really work and, and it especially works here. Uh, in general. Alright, okay, I, I will get into my overall thoughts now. Unless there is something else that you want to add first. Um, I will say, though, I want to add on to some of... The, uh, not a lot of the characters, but I do think John Reese uh, Meyer's character, was it the teacher? Is Yes, sir, you can talk about her as long as you don't spoil the movie. I'm not going to spoil it, but I'm going to say that you can definitely tell for uh, that he's kind of this... Kind of this, not really pompous, vain character, but he has this kind of attitude where he has this kind of theatrical attitude, which is kind of interesting. He essentially is one of the most accurate depictions of teachers I've seen that isn't going into a uh, stereotypical either strict mode or the obnoxious goofy teacher, which I kind of like. Although I did hear, apparently, John Reese Myers on set and during the film was kind of an ass. Um, so, I mean, you, he's, he kind of plays the character well, at least. Um, that's really all I have to say. There's a bunch of other things, but the way goes into spoilers, and I've done like an entire spoilerific review of the film on Letterboxd. But well, we can possibly we can possibly make a spoiler review of this. We could sometime, we... sometime later, but yeah, but n but not until after Halloween. So I'm very busy until then. All right. I mean, I am. I'm. A, I'm totally willing to do so. I'm just. I'm patient about it. Yeah, we could maybe do it in November or later. That would be nice. Oh, it would be, yes. It would be, by all means. All right. Now, with that being said, it's time for my overall thoughts. To be honest, I don't think this movie is fant absolutely fantastic. Far from it. But as a horror movie, it's still very damn good. It has good characters and is very damn scary. And for that, I'm going to give it the rating. Two thumbs up. Yeah, I don't love the movie, but I still think it's very damn good. Yeah. As of someone who thinks it is, shockingly, his favorite film, it's a movie that at first I didn't fully get on first view, but however, as I kind of watched it multiple times, I started picking up on little more individual things, and I absolutely love it. It is... Sure, there might be movies that are objectively better, even though movies are completely subjective, but as a whole, though, my opinion, I just think the film is just absolutely great, and I highly recommend it. Although I know that the movie is very hit or miss with certain people, so... Yeah, it's, it's, it's totally fine. It's totally fine, man. I respect your opinion. Yep. yep. Alright, you reached the end of the video. Thank you for watching, and have a great day. Yep, see ya.